All right, what I'm doing here this morning, I'm fixing to build a new bullet trap. It's all scrap lumber picked up off the job. Two to fours, uh, picked up some four and a half, five footers and some 32 inch ones. This, uh, this is a proven thing. It's worked for me for years, but when you leave them outside, the weather, it works on them, they'll rock. But uh, let me go ahead and start shooting this thing together. You can build these things out of wherever you get your hands on because they're not going to hold up long anyway from you shooting on them until but what I've done, these legs are at 22 and a half degree and that's the back of it which will hold the piece of plate metal. will make the bullet deflect into the ground. Now these work quite well. You'll sit up there like that. The piece of plate metal will be laying back here. Now that piece of plate metal is a half inch thick. Picked it up at the junkyard years ago. Been shooting this thing for years. Now it works real well for pistols, Muzzle loaders. Sit checking out your pattern for your um, shotgun. Don't recommend it for high powered rifles because it does tend to um, blow right through that half inch steel. So, you know, build you one up. Don't go crazy with it. You're not building a. You're not building a Timex watch. All you're doing is building up something to uh, keep your neighbors safe so you don't put a bullet, you know, through their house or something. They kind of frown on that. You know what? I've lost a piece of wood. What have I done with it? I don't know what happened. Oh, I see what's wrong. Go to the full top. You'd think I'd know how to build these things after as many of them as I've built over the years. But, uh, you know, I'm getting old, what the hell. That's what they say, that's the first thing to go to your mind, right? All right. So, you know, ain't no set size, whatever. I would say get your piece of plate metal first and build it accordingly. All right. That's good. I bet you I'll build a right side and a right side. I didn't build me a right side and a left side. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm pretty good about doing stuff that way. And I did. But, no biggie. Like I said, all it is is something to stop a bullet. I guess it is kind of important though, isn't it? Mr. Pencil, there you are. All right. Now my piece of steel is um, 30 inches long, tall. So I'll go down and get me a mark here at 30. I need in here. Cause mine is 23 and a half. All right, let's nail let this right quick.
Now I'm gonna get me a piece of um, plywood or something, put on the front, nail my targets to. May use some scrap three quarter boards. Got some laying out there, might just use them. Don't matter what you use, cause uh, you're gonna tear it up anyway. All right, uh, I'm gonna turn her down for a minute and uh, I'll bring it back on when uh, I get the steel set on it and maybe take a shot at it. Bear with me. All right, I had this uh, laying in my burn pile. It ain't nothing but just old some pine siding I had left over from the job. And uh, now I'm gonna use that. All it's gotta do is hold the target. When I go to shoot with these muzzle loaders, it ain't gonna hold up no way. You know what I mean? So we just use what we got. Oop, I got my thumb. All right. Ain't real pretty, is it? Well, I ain't building a, a bed for somebody. Need something to shoot some bullet holes through. <coughs> All right, you see, it's pretty simple. All I gotta do now is take it out there where I set it up at and put my piece of metal on it and uh, maybe ready to go shoot. All right, y'all bear with me. I'm gonna tow it out there and get it set up. Forgot how heavy that damn piece of metal was. Now you can see here, with these blowed all the way through, it's half inch steel. That's a high power rifle, so it ain't no good for that. But these old dimples, that's from a 58 caliber muzzle loader over the years. But uh, she uh, works real good for pistols and, and like I say, muzzle loaders. So, all right, well. I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, maybe go out and build you one. Florida Cracker Outdoors, please subscribe and keep watching.